Well, it took me a little bit longer than I expected, but I finally made it through season two of Solar Opposites, and I have to say, this show is kind of impressive. It's not deep, it's not thought-provoking, but it is impressive. It took everything good about the first season and kept it, all the stuff that worked, and then anything that was a little bit shaky that I had complaints about, like the overabundance of gore or weird millennial jokes that are really overused, they dumbed down on those. There's still some, but they cut it back a little bit, making an overall better show. There's no spoilers in these videos because they're quick reviews, and most of the time if I'm doing a quick review, I either strongly think you shouldn't watch it and don't want to talk about it at all in a spoiler format, or I really think you should watch it and I won't spoil it so you can enjoy it. And no spoilers here, this show is still great. No problems whatsoever for me. I honestly am having trouble coming up with complaints. The only ones I have are that it's not really the most thought-provoking show, not the most character development driven show, it's missing a few pieces to reach that 10 out of 10 mark, but it has everything else. It really is impressive. It's a show that knows exactly what it wants to be and how to get there. It's not formulaic in any sense. It, there's somewhat of a little guide to the story, like most would have, but it feels like Solar Opposites when you're watching it. It feels like its own thing. It's unique. You can't get a show like Solar Opposites really anywhere. There isn't anything quite like it. The closest it gets to is Rick and Morty, but that's only because Justin Roiland's sense of humor shines through both of those shows. This is a different kind of show, and it really begs the question, with how good this was, and a lot of the Fox animation block, two shows specifically that I've talked about on this channel, like Duncan Bill and Bless the Hearts, it shows how formulaic those shows really are, because they're really just basing it off of the most successful adult animated shows. And of all places, who would have thought Hulu would have one of the top tier adult animated shows of the last few years? That kind of blows me away. Last time I did a review of Solar Opposites when season one came out, I was still hesitant to tell people to get Hulu, because I was like, get it just to watch Solar Opposites. Now I think you can more justify it, because now there's 16 episodes of Solar Opposites and Hell's Kitchen's on there. So, you know, a little bit of diversity there, but that's two things you can go and enjoy. So now I'm saying full on go and get Hulu. Hulu stepped up its game, for sure, but back to the Duncanville and Bless the Hearts issue, those two shows are very formulaic. It's like they looked at shows like The Simpsons, Family Guy, American Dad, and said, okay, what's unique about these shows? Or what's similar between them, more like? They're all set in a town that they can build the show around, centered around a family. It's got, you know, some eccentric lead character. Uh, it's got a grounder or whatever. You start going down the list, and then you get shows like Duncanville or Bless the Hearts where it really is like they just took those ideas and plugged it into a new location with new characters, which might work, but it really isn't that creative, which is why shows like Bless the Hearts have been canceled, because even though they have a lot of potential, they don't really know what they want to be, and if they do, there's already something out there that is that, and they sure as hell can't do it better. If you want to be The Simpsons, then you're The Simpsons. You can't just come out and become The Simpsons and overtake them. That doesn't work. You can't do that with Family Guy. You have to make your own thing something unique. You have to know what it is and then know how to pursue it and execute it, which is way easier said than done, yet somehow, Solar Opposites of all shows on Hulu of all platforms is a perfect example of that. They're doing so much fun stuff it's clear that there's a lot of passion and love put into each episode. There's only eight per season, so you're really only getting the best of the best. It's really impressive, and it's going to become, not maybe not a staple of adult animation, but a good example of what you should do when pursuing it. Because it's fine to make a show like Family Guy. It's fine to make a show like The Simpsons but you have to have enough difference. That's why whenever I talk about these Fox Animation Block shows, I say that they have a lot of potential because they do if they shift focus away from wanting to be something else and wanting to create something else that's new and separate from that. Solar Opposites is a perfect example of that and that's why it continues to impress me. If I had to give this second season a score out of 10, nine out of 10. 
No problem saying that whatsoever. You should definitely watch Solar Opposites if you haven't already. Highly recommended. There's no reason you shouldn't right now. If not, just to get a gauge on why other shows are falling somewhat flat because it really will put it into perspective with how they execute each episode and what they want to do. It seems like they are making everything because they want to and not because they think it'll be successful or they think it will make money or they think because they can merchandise it, whatever. They're doing it specifically because they want to and they want to create it in that way and they want it to be different. They want to tell these stories with these characters. That's the best type of TV, movies, adult animation, whatever. And Solar Opposites continues to do that. But that's all from me. You should definitely check out Solar Opposites. If you have any shows you want me to check out, post them down in the comment section below. I read every comment on this channel, so don't be shy. Yours will not be overlooked. But I will see you all next time. Goodbye.